Crystal Isles. The fourth mod map to Ark Survival Evolved, releasing in mid-2020 and being the longest running mod in development to finally see a release and being the biggest map to date and offering the most biomes on a map ever seen it's without question one of the favorites due to it being good for beginners with easy poly and undoubtedly crystal in fact all of the resources are easy to farm on this map with plenty of flat and hidden base locations with the floating islands being quite a contested location a new flying dino introduced wyvern variants that are easier to tame fantastic loot drops ready and waiting for you to grab them if you know where they are with a blood soaked weather effect blanketing the sky at a moment's notice and every artifact is easy to get on this map excluding the extinction ones of course but this makes it the best map for running artifacts and it's also the first mod map to introduce a unique boss you're right kids it's ras clark and welcome to episode 9 of the map survivor guides today we are taking on crystal isles before we begin don't forget to hit that like button subscribe share around and let's get into it as per most other maps the obelisks work in the same way that you'll identify with them as a level of difficulty with the green being the easier more bob friendly area red being somewhere in the middle with some increasing challenges to come and blue certainly being the hardest surrounding location of them all this map brings a wealth of biomes from the great forest to the northwest a giant dense redwood area contained within is an enormous beehive in the form of a cave filled with honey and home to giant worker bees and dire bears the tundra falls vast flat landscapes hiding some rich resources and the northland snowy freezing peaks a massive cluster of floating islands known as the apotheosis a collection of some of the best base locations on this map which used to be home to the rock drake until it was taken out although you can code it back in bugs filled with rotting corpses that inflict a torpor inducing debuff in the great valley ember falls the lava mountain the white shoals in the southwest home to the tropical wyverns and the griffin trench a trench full of griffins the desert wyvern hive moving away from the scars that we know and instead a hive that acts very different to the egg running we used to and an island constantly engulfed in darkness and thunder known as eldritch isle with floating water bubbles and an abundance of element shards and that's not even mentioning the huge underwater areas and cave systems throughout the map it boasts a good set of loot crates within the sea also as well as on eldritch isle and this is the first mod map to bring together so many different dlc creatures into one place with many apparition creatures and scorched earth creatures it introduces the new crystal wyvern variant of which there are three types blood ember and tropical all can be tamed with primal crystal making them one of the easiest tames across the maps to at least hit flyer stage early on not requiring a saddle of course and you'll need to understand which ones you can tame and which ones you can only steal eggs from and i'll leave a guide on that in the description crystal isles also introduces the tropio usually found southeast of ember falls a new flyer packed with an armed cannon once you've made the saddle ready for you to dogfight your competition and resource gathering it's certainly one of the best maps to gather what you need metal is in abundance if you know where to look crystal the clues in the name 
there's crystal literally everywhere and it's the first mod map to allow you to farm element shards spawning on the map you'll find that the southwest or west spawns are probably the best ones to at least stay away from danger but you'll certainly find more people spawning at the southwest spawns than anywhere else so perhaps consider spawning in the redwoods at northwest just to buy you some time and hide in the trees and base locations there are plenty of places to build the white shoals is seen as a beginner area to at least get you on your feet for your first few hours but don't hang around there as it's a hot spot for trolls there's a few areas around the swamp where you can hide within the trees and waterfalls there's not so many caves on this map so the ones that are are going to be contested for 100 percent especially the one at the floating islands not only is the floating islands the hot spot for building due to being elevated and away from danger it's also home to many cracks and hidden spots to hide away in and you might consider building in the redwoods metal whilst there is a nice small wealth just south of eldritch isle you'll want to head to the swamp i did a guide on this before all of the small rocks and black rocks in the swamp area will offer you metal once farmed meaning there is a wealth there crystal as i said it's everywhere wherever you turn you will find crystal this map is full of it there's no specific location you need because you can find it everywhere and especially so at Eldritch Isle where you'll also find green, blue and red gems as well as your element shards all locked away in the crystals surrounding the isle. Obsidian, it's no surprise, Ember Falls, the lava spewing mountain is where you can find plenty of obsidian and for your paste, dams, they're everywhere. There's many locations across the map with my favorite being simply red up as it's an easy location to find where you should normally find one or two beaver dams there this map is the map for Polly because if you go to the bee cave in the redwoods and start hacking away you're going to get a lot of Polly. just of course be ready to fight the bees and bears that are in the area oil it's no surprise head north towards the snow where you'll find an oil based island full to the brim ready for you to farm away and even put down an oil rig if you want to silica pearls are easy to farm on this map as well just south of the snow where the sakura trees are there is a pond and it boasts a wealth of silica pearls your black pearls you can find in abundance at eldritch isle within the clams that are within the bubbles and this map also brings charge nodes and gas veins and healing plants from aberration for you to use them as you would before the boss of crystal isles the crystal wyvern queen isn't as bad as she seems yes there are many wyverns flying around yes she's hatching them left right and center and she's shooting a range of attacks at you but if you go in there armed to the teeth you'll do fine as this is one of the two bus arenas that permits flying creatures inside so the tactic of using a wyvern army could be your way to go and as for the artifacts on this map it's got all the artifacts you will need for any of the maps scorched earth and aberration included and they are all super easy to find that i don't even need to run through them all in this i'm going to simply show you a map and i'll link one in the description and you'll easily find these there is one or two that are underwater but all of them are challenge free for the most part and much easier to find on this map than any other map making this without a doubt your artifact map and perhaps one to begin on thanks all for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this one apologies it was a bit late i didn't feel that i had all the information to hand and was building a pc at the same time of course this is the last survivor map guide until we hit genesis part two 
So I want to give you all a big thank you to everybody who's been along for this journey and enjoyed these premieres. It really, really, really means a lot to me. Just incredibly grateful. Thank you so much. My name's Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always... Greetings, survivor. I've been watching you from afar. As you have been passing your knowledge, I have been absorbing. By making your kin stronger, you have in turn unleashed an unstoppable force. I am here waiting. And there is nothing that you or those witness punks can do to stop me. Your fate awaits in testing you and them. And let us see if your knowledge stands true and face me. Survivor!